On Thursday, fast food workers across the country are planning to walk off the job. Uh, as you know, this has been going on for almost two years now, over two years. They are backed by the Service Employees International Union, uh, but they are not part of any union. The mean uh, hour, hourly salary for a cook is $9.07 an hour, which, of course, is less than 19000 a year. Back in May, 150 cities saw fast food workers temporarily walk off the job. You'll recall, maybe it was last month, the general counsel of the National Labor Relations Board said that Hiding behind the franchi franch franchisee model does not shield corporations from lawsuits and fines for workers being punished for striking. You still have to have the entire National Labor Relations Board okay that finding by its lawyer, but it's certainly a shot across the bow in terms of protecting workers' rights in this country. Just a, a, a quick reminder. For workers, any infringement on their labor rights by a corporation, by management, takes months, if not years, to get redressed. Whereas if a corporation feels that workers are striking illegally, they can go and get uh, that situation addressed in a court within days. We have a horribly unbalanced legal system that favors the corporation and the boss, essentially management, over labor. Keep that in mind, seeing as how we're so close to um, still in the wake of, of Labor Day.